So, four parts to question 14. We'll start off by expanding and simplifying. So, we've got p times p, which gives me p squared. We've got p times minus 4, which is minus 4p. So, I'll now multiply by the 9. So, the 9 times p gives me 9p. And the 9 times minus 4 gives me minus 36. So, I've got to simplify. So, the p squared stays as it is. Now, minus 4p plus 9p is the same as 9p minus 4p, which gives me plus 5p, and then we have minus 36. <coughs> That's the first part. Right, solving 5w minus 8 over 3 equals 4w plus 2. So we start by moving that 3 on the bottom to the other side. Now, we could write it out in brackets, or we could simply say 3 lots of 4w will be 12w, and remember we've got to multiply the 2 as well, 3 times 2 would be 6. Now, um, we'll move the numbers to the left and the letters to the right. So if I move my numbers over, I get minus 6 minus 8, which is minus 14. And if I take my 5w to the other side, it becomes a minus. I get 12w. Subtract that 5w. gives me 7w. Dividing my minus 14 by 7 um, gives me w. And so w equals minus 2. Now, factorising x squared minus 49, these are both squares. Remember, 49 is 7 squared. So if you know your difference of squared, your squares, you'll know this will be x plus 7 times x minus 7. So really easy to do if you've learned the difference between two squares. Now, um, simplifying 9x to the power 8 times y cubed times to the power of half, is, well if we remove, put the half on each of the components inside, we've got 9 to the half times x, 8 to the half, which is 8 halves of 4, so that will be x to the power of 4 times y. Now 3 um, raised to the power of half will be 3 over 2. Um, we can change one more further change we can make. The 9 to the half is the square root of 9, so that will be 3. And then we'll have x. We don't need to write the times, so we'll have 3x to the 4, y to the 3 over 2. And that completes question 14.